We found that our clients like to look at all different types of financial indicators when making a decision about whether to get solar and battery. So we've created a document that gives them the data in whatever format they like to consume it, whether that be internal rate of return or net present value, first year savings or payback period. We also provide a full cash flow table so that you can follow our modeling and take a detailed look yourself. The return of a solar system depends greatly on electricity price inflation. So we also provide a table to show how the returns will be affected by different rates of electricity inflation. As well as financial models, we also provide detailed generational and usage models to show how the solar generation will be used in the house as well as how the battery will perform. We provide breakdowns of where the returns will come from, whether that be from offsetting the house's electricity bill or profiting from excess solar or even from off-peak charging. We also provide a seasonal breakdown to show how the system will perform in different parts of the year and how grid independent you'll be in each season. There's also a page which includes some facts about the carbon savings of your personal system. Sam's 9.68 kilowatt peak solar system with the Tesla Powerwall 3 is expected to generate 7,320 kilowatt hours per year. It would be slightly higher if not for the shading losses of 7.6%. We've modeled that with the Powerwall 3 storing excess solar generation, 83% of his solar generation will be used in the house. He'll also be over 52% grid independent on average over the course of the year and over 93% grid independent on average during a summer day. Sam's system is expected to return over £1,800 in the first year, most of it coming from offsetting his on-site usage, but also from exporting to the grid using Intelligent Octopus Flux. In the first year, Sam's system will offset an estimated 996 kilos of carbon. That's looking at the carbon intensity of the grid versus the carbon intensity of solar and working out the difference. Over the lifetime of the system, it's estimated that he'll offset 292 flights from London to New York. That's the equivalent of planting 690 trees. A few days after the installation was complete, we had a look at the monitoring in his Tesla app and it showed that 96% of his electricity is coming from solar generation, whether it's either used immediately or stored on site in the battery.